We back again, and we in the building again, bro. About to get it cracking again. Let's warm it back up. They all froze the computer last time, bro. We back in the building, non-stop action. Y'all get the game? I told y'all. This month, we ain't playing. We dropping it non-stop this month. We 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 finishing them off, bro. You know, we giving you all we got, but and we ain't running out of ammo no time soon. We just get started now. We gonna try to run it up about eighty videos this month. We warming up. We warming you up. We giving you time to catch up from last month. You know what I mean. So get them in the building and tell them we're gonna be back on. We warming up the stage. The shit that I got coming out this month is gonna change. The, the tapes that I got coming out this week is gonna change the game. The last, the new last name tape is gonna be so fire. The new last name tape that's coming out is gonna be so fire because I'm gonna really because I got more I got more shit more connections more last names more tribes like it, this shit gonna be crazy you know what I mean so they flagging everything we put out from uh, they've been flagging everything single thing we put out. Before we even say anything, they flagged it. <laughs> really. Oh, let's get that. Hold on, let's switch this out real quick. And get that chat pulled up for you. We back live, we back lit, brother. Hold on, let me get that. Let me switch back, back to the again, elder. Huh? Say back at it again. Oh yeah, hey man. Listen, you putting in that work, man. Look like I got niggas on uh for that nigga uh Roger uh Roger Moore. The L the L dude on that title. We got it, we're looking for his ass. Anybody know where his whereabouts? I got a couple of people that tracked him down. They said they tracked him to uh the Washington DC area. So, I don't look, I man, I ain't think about them niggas. This shit over with. I'm just going through uh, who the devil was and how we found them motherfuckers. We got him. <clears throat> we got him, bro. Don't worry about nothing. I'm pulling that folder back up right now for you so you can go and finish these niggas out, bro. Somebody say Rod Haynes. Get, Rod Hayes, get them niggas, man. Rod okay, Hayes. so you remember you remember when they uh, um, they talk about the double right to rule and all this shit, right? Uh-huh. All right, the Anunnaki have uh, a system in play. Uh -huh. So before Enlil can leave Earth doing his devilishment, he had to make a public appearance. Mm -hmm. And he made the public appearance under the name um, Maitreya. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to show you how to match him up so you can find him, right? Mm -hmm. So I sent you a picture of Matreya sitting with Mary. You got, you got it in there? You just sent it to me just now? It's in the folder in the file. Oh, hold on. Okay, all right. Well, it's already in there then. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh... She going to have on the blue dress, and he's going to be sitting there with his punk ass. Okay, hold up. I got these niggas. Don't worry about nothing. She gonna have on a blue dress. Okay, this might. He gonna look like a, he gonna look like one of them pale arrows. Okay, uh, he gonna look like one of them pale arrows. Okay. I don't know, man. I don't see it up there. You don't see it up there. Hold on, I'm looking at this, uh, this uh, file real quick. I got all the pictures that you sent me up in there. 
Um, let's see. If you don't got it, I can send it to you again. Hold on, let me see. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't got that picture in my folder. Hold on. Yeah, you ain't sending that one to me. All right, go to your uh, messages. All right, send it to me right now. I'm going to slide it to my computer. Mm -hmm. Hey, get him in the building and tell him we on. We live with the brother Rod Hayes, man. All right. Oh, yeah, we got this nigga. Who, who this nigga is now? We got this nigga, man. Hold up. I'm finna show you. I'm finna match these motherfuckers up for you. Oh, yeah, it's game. <laughs> now, I know I sent you a picture of uh, um, him carved in stone. It's a carving of Enlil. <coughs> I sent you earlier. Mm -hmm. Only showing the damn picture. There's also, I'm going to have you pull it up on YouTube. I'm going to show them the picture first. Uh huh. But before I have you pull it up on YouTube, I'm going to have you look up another picture. Let me pull that one up real quick. Uh, here, here, right here. I get somebody to cry, say, in the chat, say, Roy, get these niggas, man. Get That's him in his Anunnaki form. That's the lady name is Mary. They got they got to always have a lady named Mary if they on Earth. Mm -hmm. That means that she was one of the um, priestess of the Earth, and she is the one that he's swearing to do all of this shit for because he's telling that he's the return Christ. Mm -hmm. Now you want to see something funny? Look over her left shoulder and tell me what you see. Man, I don't know what the fuck that is. Some kind of. I bet. Zoom it in. Like a monster or something. I don't know what that is right there, bro. You don't remember Baba had a picture of one of them in this in, in one of the scrolls? Look. And they had that big old lump of skin on the side of their face. Yeah. That's what that is. Yeah, I know some people like that. Yeah. This is a what they call a Janice Bean. He got two faces, but one of them he had to conceal. He came with with Enlil. Man, look so at that's him. how they that's how they hide on Earth. They cloak the second face with a lump of skin. He can pull that shit back like an eyelash. Uh, yeah, it's terrific. Yeah, and this would be a face under there. <clears throat> Remember Quado on um um uh that movie with Schwarzenegger when he was on Mars, Total Recall. Yeah, yeah, I I, 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 I was watching that movie, but I never did watch the whole thing. With, uh, yeah, yeah Quado is the is the dude that lived in the other dude side. Dang. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right now. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, that, that that's what he looked like. <laughs> I, I, like, I ain't never, like, how this nigga hide in the background like that? Ain't nobody really paying high. attention. Ain't nobody paying attention. But look at, look at Enlil, though, because I'm finna give you a spoiler, right? Go to uh, John Wick. This is Enlil right here. And he said, this is Enlil right here. They showed us, they showed us to him in the movie. 
So this Italy right here, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm finna show you. I'm gonna show you better than I can tell you. Go ahead, go ahead. Where you want me to go now? Okay, go to Google. This shit is about to get greasy, my nigga. Hey, YouTube, hit that like button, man. Put in John Wick 3 High Table. All right, I got you. Hey, I gotta find this movie tonight. Watch this shit. Yeah, because the description, the the you gotta watch the movie to get the uh directions to get to him. To get to him, huh? Mm-hmm. There you go. Is that a coincidence? <coughs> this is the high table. He is the highest authority on earth in the John Wick movies. Mm-hmm. Right now, look at him and look at Inlil. Go back and look at that dude, Inlil. Mm -hmm. Can you put the two pictures side by side any kind of way? Let's try that. Now, uh, when John Wick go to this dude, he tell him how to uh, how to redeem himself from the high table, but John Wick take the high table to war. Rebellious ass, just like me. No one defeats the high table except John fucking Wick. <laughs> John Wick, huh? Okay. Right, let me find it real quick. We put this dude side by side with uh, the dude you showed in the picture, side by side with this guy. Mm -hmm. All right, let's find that picture. Where is it? I ain't Did you save it? Yeah, it's saved. We just sold it up just a minute ago. There it goes. It should be pulling up right in right here somewhere. That's John Week. You had pulled it up from a different file from your phone. Oh, oh yeah. Here you go, right here. No, that ain't it. There you go. Right there you here. go. They put this shit in y'all face because they know y'all not going to catch it. It's a day sleep, right? Mm-hmm. Where is it? 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 Somebody say y'all, hey Rob. Somebody say Rod, bang of these niggas. Now the, you gotta watch the movies so you can understand how they telling you how he's calling shots. Uh huh. They ain't gonna let me blow it up though. Two side by side. If you re, uh, right click on one, you could blow it up from the right click. So, not so that it, it, it took it down. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I had to do it over. But you said you could. That's good enough to see him. Now look at now. Go to the other picture. Ah, uh, you see him right there, and then uh. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so the mirror flip is same but different. Okay, blow it up. Look Matter at fact, it. I, I tell you what, this is what I do. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna do it like this. This way I can get it. Uh, this way I can get it. Uh, big where you can really get it is ass. Hold up, I, I got you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put it on this right thing right here, so I can put them side by side. And so you can really get this nigga, man. This nigga in live, man. Strong these niggas, man. Really get these niggas, man. Hold up, bro. Let's find these niggas, bro. And that, that that dude in the background, like you can see the head. Hey, you can see the head right here. You say like, you let me show you like right here. Mm -hmm. Like right here, like you can see that like it's a head right here. It's like a, a yeah. demon or something. You can see the two he face. <coughs> he got a face this way, and then he got a face this way. You can see, yeah. it, you see it face this way, and that. But the other thing is on the side of the whole gray. face, and they pull the lens down over it. When they come around people, they just look like they got a birth defect. Yeah, that shit crazy, man. That's some crazy shit. Bro. I'm telling you, man. All right, hold on. We got these niggas. Hold up. Watch this. All right, let's find this dude. Get it. There you go, Elder. You, hey, you figured that shit out, man. Hold on. I'll take about a second. We're going to blow these niggas up. Give me about a couple. That's two, three more. All right, let me just save it and blow it up. All right, hold up. Shit, put it right there. We got these niggas. Hold on, right now you can really finger these niggas, man. Hold up, finger these niggas, Rod. Somebody in the crowd say, Rod, finger these niggas. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you see the similarities in the description, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Both of them wearing Arab turbans. Uh huh. Both of them got the same general appearance. Mm hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, the only reason why you're going to know is they're talking about the same is when you watch the movie John Wick. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. In the movie John Wick, Haley Berry take him to go see her old boss, who was mm -hmm. the owner of one of those Continental Suites. Mm hmm. And when she get there, he tell John Wick the directions, and then he send him from North America, right? He's giving him the description to go east to the Dog Star into the desert, and he's sending him to Mount Sinai. Mm -hmm. But he ain't going to make it there on foot going the directions. He's going to eventually pass out. But the mm -hmm. scout patrols are seen by that time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. So the description that they gave him was the description to the mountain to see the high table. And this is the guy that John Wick saw who made him chop his wedding finger off his uh, wedding finger off with his wife's wedding ring and give it to him. Damn. I'm about to right. Rush it, man. Now, go to the old uh, carving <laughs> in the wall of Enlil that I sent you. I wanted to make sure I sent you that one. The old carving in the wall of Enlil's carving. Right here? Oh, no, right here. No, I see. I see. Hold up. Right here. 
Right here, this one right here. Yeah. Look at his. Look at how he look in the in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now compare him to those guys I just showed you. It's the same shit. Hold on. Let's let's get them niggas, man. You want me to put them all side by side? I can put it all side by side. I can cut that piece and put it. I'm trying to look because that might be Inky right there. That might not be in Lil. I don't know. That one might be. That one might be. I think. I think. Matter of fact, let's just look him up. Let's just go to Google and get a picture of. Uh, Enlil, I don't know if Enlil had the. I don't, it's, it's the wings. I think they, I think uh, Inky only had two wings. Oh. Let's just look it up. It's just be better to look it up and get the right picture. Yeah. See, and them wings were detachable, they were detachable wings they had. It, it, it was like some. Ancient technology. See, I got I got some shit in that folder. Like, okay, all right, you mind if I show one thing real quick to show you what I'm talking about in this uh mm-hmm. one folder? Yeah. All right, look at like an okay in this folder I got called ancient Egypt. Because I ain't never get to do part three to it. I'm gonna do part three, but I'm just gonna show this picture that I got in, that's gonna be on part three. Uh it's in this folder right here. It's called uh, Straight Out of Ancient Kemet. It's going to be part three, though, but where is it at? Right. Uh... Yeah, this right here stuff right here is a like high level shit right here, though. <laughs> yeah, you but know, I, 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 your, your G classified 14? Yeah, um, yeah. This right here shit oh, that I'm working oh, on, man. I'm supposed to be showing niggas this shit right now, man. You know what I'm saying? But look at this shit right here. All right, so when we came down, I told him, we, damn, see, they fucking with shit now. Look at it. It's just, they fucking with shit now. I hope they don't try that little freeze shit again. All right, here we go right here. I'm going to show you this one thing right here, man, out of, the, out of the top classified files right here, man. This right here shit don't even supposed to be coming out yet until next week. Ah, uh, but well, hold up. Let me show you this uh, one picture. Motherfuckers just, uh, see how they just did my screen, man? Made me lose my train of thought right there, almost. How they flip up their screen like that. Oh, yeah. I just had the picture pulled up and it just jumped off. So <laughs> like somebody, somebody in the comments said, finger them niggas ride, but it's the way they spell finger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. We getting these niggas, man. Ain't no stop. Ain't no stopping it, man. Hold up, man. What the hell, bro? I just had the damn picture, bro. And that shit just clicked off and turned off. Some crazy shit. Hold up, right up in here. Man, you see how they do you, man. I just clicked on the picture and it just did some funky shit. And the picture gone. Is it gone? Hey, so let's <clears throat> let's talk a little bit more about John Wick. Right? Go ahead, go ahead. So John Wick is a very unique character, and he is what you call a uh prototype. Right? Uh-huh. Where else do you see the same character but a different actor playing him under different circumstances? Would you happen to know? No. You have you remember Jason Bourne, the Bourne yeah, Identity? Yeah, Jason Bourne. Hell yeah, yeah. Right. So now you got Matt Damon. Jesse, Jesse, right. Jesse, playing Jesse. Jason Bourne, who is actually uh uh his last name Webb, David Allen Webb. Yeah, David Allen Webb, yeah. All right. So when you put all this shit, they're the same motherfucker. Different circumstances. Because John Wick going at the high table is the same as Jason Bourne going after the CIA. Uh huh. <clears throat> now, Jason Bourne just want to be left the fuck alone. But every time he uh, somebody need a patsy, they try to square him up for a frame up. Uh huh. 
Right. The Anunnaki tactic is always accuse the innocent motherfucker so a motherfucker never look at the guilty. And that's something tied in what you was talking about right there, too. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Look at the uh, uh, city, Turkey. Right? Yeah. Remember, I told you that they was in Turkey as Ottomans. Yeah. Little two heads right. right there. It's fire. <clears throat> yeah. You see the green and the red? Yeah. That's the land and the blood, earth rights. They're trying to claim the earth rights. I was trying to find this other uh, description that I had where it was showing you the, uh, they had a chalice in one of the uh, chapels in Europe where they was keeping track of how much blood they spilt on the land. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And as long as that they didn't never overrun that chalice, they was free to reign their terror. That's why they had us killing each other. Oh, there you go. Right there. Oh, there you go right there. Damn, I'm tripping. I was wondering what the fuck is going Cover on. Cover crab. Yeah, so the Anarchies had these crabs, but the way they drew, the way people drew them, they didn't really couldn't articulate what we what we got now. But that's what they was. That he could be controlled. Cover crab. If this ring he got in his hand, that's how you could that's how you drive it. But it's a but it's a more of an advanced style of this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so yeah, I, I, wait till I show that ancient technology video, man. I'm telling you, we got this shit. Like we, we that's we invented this thing. That's the same hey, look, thing. So the go ahead. Some people might not believe that we was fighting wars with aliens mm -hmm. if we was flying around in ships thousands mm -hmm. of years ago. Mm -hmm. So I want you to pull up a reference source for the ones that want to know more about it. Pull up um, Vimanas Sutra. V-I-M-A-N-A-S. Okay, V-I-M-A-N-A-S. New word. S-U-T-R-A-S. Oh, yeah, these are, these, are, these are the Hindu crafts. Right. Pull up a picture of that so they can see what they look like. These was flying ships in the BC period, like thousands of years ago. Yeah, these are Hindu. They got the blueprints from them in the actual written text. Yeah, these are the, uh, the ships from Nirvana, these Hindu crafts. People that right. came from the Hindus, the far... The people that landed in the oil tridel was flying these ships, and they went. They went mm -hmm. to. They went to India. They went to. Now, uh, go, go to where it say. Uh, um, put books behind it. Books. Put book behind it. Yeah, because it's the actual book. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I'm gonna get that book. It's called the Vamana Sutras. Yeah, Baba talk about this in the book. I I, I got I got a book that Baba talk about these things in. You see that green one on the left. Right here, that one. Caracas, I mean, that's different, that's different. Okay, It's right. a book called the Minus Sutras. Okay, oh, I'm it's an ancient, one. it's the ancient uh, historical documents about the flying craft and about the, uh, it's even got the diagrams of how to make them in there. The reason why these is important, remember, um, Zhu Yin stole, stole the Scrolls of Destiny, uh -huh. which gave him control of the earth for 6,000 years. And how long they say the devil had to rule? 6,000 years. And who was Zhu Yin? Zhu Yin was uh, Nana. Interesting, right? Yeah, the son of en Enlil. Right. And Enlil was calling the shots over his son, trying to exercise liberal authority on earth. And that's how they turn Earth into hell, trying to uh, keep us from experiencing our own heaven. And Nana is Isis' daddy. Uh, Those, uh, Isis, <clears throat> Isis is a title. I, uh, Inanna is a title, a rank. Isis is a title, a rank. Isis, the title Isis or offset is actually how it's pronounced. Mm -hmm. It means the occupier of the queen seat of heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Inanna means she who walks to the throne. That means she is the heir 
-hmm. In Egypt, she would be called Sekhmet, mm -hmm. right? Because it was under Sekhmet that the second in command had to come mm -hmm. out, of, out of the Lion Lodge, mm -hmm. right? Which was the royal families, which was used as the lion being the king of the jungle. And that's talking about Enki. Mm -hmm. But um, if Enki passed the torch, there's only one totem animal left that's not used yet because that pharaoh has not rose to power. Mm -hmm. Find a gorilla in the hieroglyphics if you think I'm bullshit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'll find a baboon, a chimpanzee, other kind of monkeys from that ain't even from Africa, but mm -hmm. you won't find a gorilla. Mm -hmm. That totem line is yet to rise to the pharaonic prominence. That's mm -hmm. why you have it. Mm -hmm. But this is the scrolls. The scroll we're looking for is the Vamana Sutra. Let's go to Wikipedia and see what it say. Oh, I got you. Wikipedia don't want to even fuck with it all the lot. All you gotta do is put a wiki behind whatever you typed yeah, in. Yeah, that's, right, that's right. Right. But usually they be usually they be at right at their own. It, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This in there. They probably just it's probably a whole bunch of shit on this shit though. If if Wikipedia lasts on it. <clears throat> the sutras mean chapters, but you want Vamana sutras, not just sutras. Hold on. That's Vastu. That's different. Okay. <coughs> yeah, they say they making it hard for you on that. Uh, let's see. Matter of fact, all you got to do is go to Amazon like you're about to buy the book. Yeah, that's right. Let's go back then. <clears throat> and then you can read the book's description to tell them what it's about. There you, you go. You see right here? Ancient crafts, flying machines. Oh, yeah, I need this joint. I got that. It's more than one of them. It's because these are just Man, translations of the ancient fire. text. I got to have this joint right here. Let me say this right now. I got to get that joint right there, man. That's got to be part of our collection. They talk about flying crafts in that joint. And look, look, yeah. look at the joint right here. They got that. They like that. Uh, that's like the shit that Ashtar Command be fucking with on Back of the Moon. And like that Hitler's bill. See, like, uh, see, most of these are like, like, ash talk. Like, this craft right here is a craft that Inky built. This craft right here. That was like, that, that was like a fighter plane that Inky was using to bomb, drop bombs on people. You know, I can't see that no way near clear as you, right? Hold on. I'm, I'm, gonna, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna blow it up. I'm gonna blow it up for you. I'm gonna blow it up for you. Hold up. No, I want you to look at some more of those Vermonter Sutras because oh, they got more than one of them. Hold I on. want you to read the description of one. According to early Sanskrit texts, the ancient had several types of aircrafts called Vim Viminus. Vimanus. Vimanus. Light aircrafts today of uh, Vinonis were used, used to fly through the air from city to city. I told oh shit, hold on, Rock. I told niggas. I told niggas that Inky was flying these crafts. Hold up. To conduct we all was aerial surveys of uncharted land and as delivery vehicles of awesome weapons, Dave Hatcher, Chowder, popular lost cities, Arthur, as star of the History Channel, long running show, Ancient Aliens, take us on a out a stunning investigation into tales of ancient flying machines in the new book. Why wow, I won't go down. Here, go here. In the new book, 
packed with photos and diagrams. His, his consult ancient texts and modern stories of pre present astonishing events take the aircraft similar to ones used we use today. Oh, shit. I got to get this fucking book, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said this shit. I said that that, 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 that look, looking at that, that that uh that forbidden archaeology book with the shit that Bobbin said, putting all of it together, we was already flying these these crabs, and that's how the motherfuckers got that shit when they went to Alexandria. They got those books on that shit, and that's how they came over to it. They had, I, I believe, we had already had these crabs over in America. They telling you like they just came up with this shit. We've been had it, man. We've been had to helicopters. Hold on, because we, we finna go right into what Hold you're up, talking man. about. Go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, yeah. go back to the first page where you got that from. You see all the books on the top? Yeah. They are different uh, mm -hmm. translations mm -hmm. of the Sutras. Oh, shit, son. But now we want to look up something. That's not it. That was close, but that's something else. But look, this is what we want to look up now. Look up Vamanus Wars. This shit crazy. That's the Hindus' crowd. <clears throat> Mythology find palaces of chariots described as Hindu texts. Click on that. Script. Click on that so we get a good reading of it. <laughs> Man, what the fuck is that burn? Like some burn. This is the war that made us blow something called the Gandiva. The Gandiva. Sanskrit would you know literally means measuring out, traversing, or having been measured out. So that's what it means in Sanskrit right there. I don't know what that is. I can't even see it. It says uh, them nanas literally means measuring out, traversing, or having been measured out. It's the oh, it's a the car or chariot of the gods. Any self-moving aerial crab car sometimes served as a seat or throne, sometimes self-move and carry into Oh, uh, see so what they're saying is too. They, they you got the remember how in uh in um the Leonidas movie, the three hundreds. Remember that dude? Remember that dude that was can on that uh that tote? He he had a big throne. Yeah, you talking about Xerxes? Yeah, Xerxes. So they 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 describing that is like a copycat of, of the the humans copying what these other people had of this type of machine they could right. Be yeah. Because the Anunnaki hovered across the ground, they thought their king wasn't supposed to touch the ground. Yeah. Oh, shit, bro. Man, this is heavy, bro. Damn. But we want to get to the Vermonis Wars, if you could find yeah, that. That's um, what I'm looking for right now. Oh, shit, man. This shit is it's a lot of connections here, man. That's putting pieces, a lot of little, little missing pieces that's coming together. Man, so now I, I got more evidence to prove that them fucking niggas was flying helicopters back then, man. And that's what that shit they was talking about in the bow. Them niggas was riding submarines and shit back then, man. I'm telling you, bro. Let's go back a page. Okay, all right. Go back a page. Yeah, we, we got to find uh, the minus wars. Right here, wars. Right here. It's Amazon right here. Wars with the gods. I'm yep. Gonna see Let's read what the book about. Damn, it won't give me then hold up. Uh, all it says is, hold on, let me click on this. See if I can get it, some on it. Uh, I don't got nothing really on this book, but it do got, like it don't got nothing like saying what it just says, just uh, about the wars of the gods. Hold on, right. Still, to show you the back of the book, you might be able to flip the back of the book. Oh, it's gonna make me. No, you got to stop. Sign up, shit. I ain't trying to do all it. Oh, look. Hold on, right, right. It says right a review. 
So, hey, okay, so we, we can write. This we can be the first. This picture of the book that I have a description of it. Yeah, this here the second one I clicked on. It's the second one I clicked on. Hold on. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't do this to me now. We cooking. We, hey, we in the we in Big Mama Kitchen, man. We cooking up with the brother Rod, man. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, man. We cooking up. Knowledge is power, baby. Big Mama said, "Knowledge is power." You know, so it's up. All right, so let me pull that shit back up one more time, man. See, can we find something going on? Let me go to book right there. Let's see, can we get something going on with this shit? I got a second way. We can't get this way. We're going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it won't say. Uh, scroll down. Scroll down. Because uh, what it's about might be down under that. There's a very interesting book in the League of Chariots of Gods. However, the Kindle edition is. Have to get with the thousands of grammar. Okay, all right, boom. This is somebody coming on it. Oh, I know how to find. We make it find some on it. Hold on, let me show let me look this way right here. Go right here. Then you go to uh, let's say war wars. So that's when these. I, I know about this wall. It's when the hit, they they will pick good picture of one where where they really look like right there. That's how they really yep. look right there. That's a good picture. Yeah. That's why the capstones is going off the pyramids too. Yeah, let me save it. That's a really good picture of what it looked like right there. And these beans came down from Orion too. These beans, these are Hindu beans. That's a real good picture of what it really looked like right there. That's how they look. And and they and it's different, it's different series of them because they develop more and more. When they got here, they got a better development. This is what they look like now. But it went, well, the old ones look more older, like this one right here. That's the older ones. Really, really that was that was, that was humans trying to replicate. Yeah, them. Exactly. That's what I was gonna say. That's exactly what I was gonna say. This this is the humans, this is like the Adolf Hitler type trying to uh copy these people's shit. Right, but this is this is more what it looked like, just like this right here. It looked hey in the same row you got that picture, mm -hmm. go all the way to the left. You might right be here. able to see it. That might be the minus right there. The one in stone. Okay, the one in stone right here. Right here. Oh, that's the layout of the cities. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the Vermontus Wars is told in a story. Called Bhagavad Gita. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So when you read what the Gita is about, hey, don't you notice that the one on the left look kind of like Queen Mother Ty? Where, where, right here? Up there that you got up that you just had up. No, the picture you just had up. Oh, okay, right here. Right there at a at a at a distance, it looked like Queen Mother Ty. Okay, this right here, picture right here in the middle. No, the one on the left. Right here. That's the right. Oh, yeah. Okay. I hit your mind up. Your little. <laughs> and, and, you know, some, these people, these Hindus, when they came at the military, they used elephants and air balloons. They were throwing these, like, bombs from these air balloons. So that's what, like, the air balloon culture, like, it, it like, man, it's a whole bunch of shit that's, that's, that's coming up now in my head, I'm telling you, that, that I'm putting yeah. it together. The Chinese had ancient flying machines too, but we ain't got to them yet. Yeah, yeah. Like the air, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna write a whole fucking book called Ancient Flying Machines. And I'm gonna talk about that, the origin of the balloon. We was the first ones that doing that shit, man. I'm telling you, bro. Now look. Yeah. Look at this. Let's go, let's go back to the page before this. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. 
We looking for the minus war. See if you see him on there. I can't see the right screen, here. so this I can't right here tell might you. be uh this is something on it right here, I think. Uh this is something on it. Right here, I think. Hold on, hold on. Subscribe, using doing this. All right, it says right here, it says our ancient texts describe many. Man, don't let me butcher this word. Verum Vonus. Vermanus. Yeah, bananas. Was a bananas. <laughs> Used during <laughs> the ancient wars. It is a uh it said it is analogous to think about the technology technical advancements during that period in the I can't say this word right here. Bahaja Taba. That's some fucking Bahagita. Bahagita. Yeah, remember I just told you that the wars was talked about in there. All right, okay. The bottom of the Gita Purana. We didn't description of, huh? It was a story from Pentangeli was talking to Arjuna. Hey, who is Maya? Maya. That's that, that's that chick in the blue, right? That blue chick. No, Maya means illusions. I know, I know, I know Maya, mean, Maya means illusion. I'm saying that that's, like, that's one of the <coughs> chick's name that was fighting in the war, the blue chick. That's one of her names, Maya. Oh, might be. Yeah, yeah, like the chick that was fighting, that was uh, that was chopped. Because remember, you, you broke down a story. You said, "Look at this chick, and she got blue." Like this chick right here. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep this screen. Let me do it like this right here. Because this right here ties in too with what you're saying, and, and you, you broke, you had already broke this lady down on another tape right here. You talking about in the Great Wall? No, not in the Great Wall. I'm gonna show you. It was a chick that had somebody head had these heads chopped off. Oh, that's Kali Ma. Yeah, that's that, see one of the th names that they call her in one of the lanes. I think our Baba said it in the book. It was Maya, and that's where uh, it ties right here. This her right here. Mm hmm. The head chopped off. You said that she was a good being, right? Don't that look like Enlil in her head in her hand? Yeah. <laughs> when you see these sisters in this imagery, right? These yeah. was the warrior women that was, was fighting on the ground during the Vermontus Wars. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They was the fierce women warriors that they be talking about, the Dahomey, the Amazon, you know, where uh, Diana from. Well, right. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Diana. What, what's up? What's, Diana what's up? is supposed to be Wonder Woman. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Right. So all of these different women, you know, you see Kalima like this. You see Sekhmet in the rage. You see some of the daughters like this, Maya. Um, all of them were actual people that fought. Uh -huh. And those and those four arms show you her methods. Okay. Right now, if you look around her neck, she got a ring of skulls around her neck. Yeah, all the men, kings she conquered, huh? Right, so that means taking heads. she been taking heads. Yeah, now what else she got in her hand? She got some uh, incense, fire, like that's a, a cauldron, a head chopper. She got an eye, like it's something to open it in her own, right? Because oh, right man. there is a chakra in your hand, so she telling you that her power. To take his is in the magic, the sword, and in the um uh personal power of her intuitive self. She got a lot of gold on too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because all of that gold, that's the most shoon colors. And Those are the daughters of the, okay, so it's 12 daughters of Isis. Yeah. Isis make 13. Where do those numbers come in at again? The 12 sons of Jacob. Yeah. And Jacob make 13. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And what was Jacob's daughter name? Uh, I don't remember. Was it? No, nah, I'm thinking about uh, Cannon daughter. What, what's uh, what's it's his daughter's name? Diana. Yeah, Diana. That's my mama middle name, Diana. 
So that's why the 13th tribe is not mentioned because it's the mother's land that's that they conceal. Oh it. shit. So you just gave me another 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 piece. Mama Miller named Diana. Mm -hmm. Stephanie Diana Williams. Now let's pull up the, the, the description for the Gita. G-I-T. Right, G I T. Oh, okay. Hold on, let me get let me get it. All right, say it again. G I T A. That's all you gotta write. It's gonna pop up in the um. Okay, uh, we want the description of what it's about. So they look like them. The Hindu crown look like the uh, Pope crown. Go to the main page. See if we can find out what it's about. <clears throat> Uh, the Gita, uh, the Gita, often referred to as the Gita, is a 700 verse Hindu script that is part of the epic Mahabharata. Mahabharata. Yeah, dated to the second half of the first millennial BCE, and is typical of the Hindu uh, synth synth synthetics. It is considered to be one of the holy scriptures for Hinduism. I want to see, they're just talking about the book. I want to tell you what's in the book. Okay, what does it mean? It says, uh, this is so small, I can't even. Uh, okay. Either the Sanskrit word meaning songs, Singing, chants, or praise. No, 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 no. You, you reading, you reading the titles, the descriptions of the titles. I'm trying to get what's inside the book. So we got to do a, a yeah, book. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. <coughs> Content of the book. Uh, let's see. It's a whole religion. Uh, they got the book right here. This is the book right here, chapter one through. Uh, let's see. Uh, the, uh, let's see. This should be on the introduction. Yeah, introduction. Let's hit them. Man, I ain't for the. I can't read this shit. It's, uh, it's too little for me to read. Okay, uh, let me blow it up. Uh, I think it's right click and the arrow will be in there. Let me see. Mm -mm. Nah, it's real shit right here. Just, it is like the names. I first offer my respect. Uh, uh, hold on, let me see if I can find this uh, part about what the book is about. There are two ways of acquiring knowledge. The first is the ascension process in which the utility of our senses, minds, and intelligence to explore, discover, and conclude about the nature of truth. The second is the dissension process where we simply receive the knowledge from a proper source. The ascension process of gaining knowledge and inherited prone to defect sense. Our sense, mind, and intelligence are made from... No, that's not telling you what the book about. That's not yeah. helping. Yeah, and that's, what, that's how I know. I, I was just reading to see if it was going to go into that part. Really, the, the, this intro part is just talking about his life. And uh, the dude yeah, that, that's the guy that's translated telling his, his glory stories. Yeah. They you know they always gotta tell you a glory story at the beginning of the book. Yeah, to, to make you believe God, some God, power, power, <laughs> something or something like that. Yeah. Okay, we're but <clears throat> so what we're doing, the purpose is showing these texts, right? Uh -huh. Is to show the people where to look to find the story pieces to put them together. Because they scattered everywhere. That's how they scattered the language. They scattered all of the knowledge as well. 
Uh-huh. So when we don't, we we get, we come well read, we know where everything is because we read it already. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. So this was the purpose of even knowing what this book was about. We can show them the cover again, and we can move on from here. Uh uh-huh. So I'm gonna do a little synopsis of what we just went over. And um, this is just showing y'all that these ancient wars was already fought thousands of years ago that put us in the um, state of darkness under light lock by the Galactic Council. And we had to um, make sure that everybody had the equal opportunity to ascend, whether they ascend or not, to become a personal um, option as opposed to somebody else sacrificing you to keep you from ascending. Mm-hmm. So nobody is supposed to interfere in the free will universe with your rights of ascension. So Yaku had to come over here and get a drop of blood for his grafted doubles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And his grafted doubles ain't necessarily pink. Some of them motherfuckers look like us, but they ain't us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So we see that they do the rape thing from Enlil himself. Mm -hmm. Right. So we know where that comes from. Remember, they say uh, the book is say, I'm not you are not of my father. You are your father. He was a liar from the beginning and there was no truth in him. Mm -hmm. Right. So who told the first lie when they told him don't eat from this tree? Right. That's the first lie on record. The day you eat from this tree, you're going to die. The day they ate from that tree, they were still living. Now, the church tell you some bullshit, and this is the rhetoric the church tell you, all in Adam died. Mm-hmm. That's not what they told Adam. They say the day you eat from that tree, that very day, it specifically say that, you shall die. Right? Yeah. So they lied to him, told him he was going to die if he ate from the tree, and then who's the first snitch? Adam, right, right. So he the first snitch on record because he told on his woman. He he wasn't even no rider for his old lady. Right, right, right. So who is it that Adam was? Adam was a ghoul. Okay. You want to look up a ghoul? Yeah. Well, uh, what, what do you spell it? G H U L A M. You see, right, uh, they got a dude kissing the girl right there. It's written on there. It's written on the second one, too, from the, at the top. That right there is an ancient Chaldean um, creation. Now, notice I said Chaldean. Mm-hmm. They talk about this in the uh, Holy Sephira, and they teach them how to make gulums in the Babylonian money magic and the purpose of a gulum was to do their dirty work without them being caught Mm -hmm. the gulum was the uh, abhorrent man the man that was unlike all of the rest of the men Mm -hmm. right so this is what they made you activate the gulum by incantations to the third eye yeah okay i I see right i see it right here you got it you're doing it right there the sign Mm-hmm. Once you do the incantation on the third eye, the ghulam has become a sentient being temporarily. He's artificial intelligence being programmed. Mm-hmm. The chip that you put in the programming, they show you on the Jews with the box on their forehead. Mm-hmm. The box on the forehead represents the program, the computer program. Mm-hmm. And the pro- computer program go back to the black box. Where's the black box at? Yeah, where's the black box? Mecca. Inside, inside of the airplane. It's Mecca. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, the uh, Kaaba. The, the Kaaba. Yeah, okay, all right. Right? And on the Kaaba is the black stone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? And the yeah, black listen. stone is the peace stone. Go ahead. And the peace stones is the pussy stone, and the pussy stone is mama's pearl. 
Yeah, Mama's Pearl. Go ahead. Right? So, <clears throat> Mama Pearl let down your curls and saying, look for a hair flip for Mama's Pearl. Mm -hmm. It was a coded message from Michael Jackson when he was a shorty. Mm. You remember the song? Mama's Pearl. Let down your curls. Would you give my love a word? Show you what you've been missing. Goody girl. Let down your curls. Would you give my love a word? Show you what you've been missing. You remember that? Mm -hmm. I probably ain't old enough for that one. <laughs> yeah, that was when he was a shorty. Mama's Pearl. Yeah, what is it? The song. Right. Yeah. So. He was flipping codes in most of his music. Who was writing the music for Motown? Tahuti. Smokey. Yeah, yeah, Tahuti. Tahuti. Watch this. <clears throat> Smokey Robinson is the highest Hayoka chief on the land. Mm -hmm. All of his music is masterfully written to get a message to the future. By catching the groove hmm. down a groove line. The groove line is going to tell you that there is a temptation. The temptation is going to tell you there's a papa who was a rolling stone. Mm -hmm. The rolling stone had to first be hewn from a mountain. Mm -hmm. And once mm -hmm. it's hewn from the mountain, it rolls downhill. Mm -hmm. Keep going. <clears throat> Once it rolls downhill, it strikes the kingdom of iron and clay. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of iron and clay was the final empire of the Babylonian Empire. Mm -hmm. What do the iron and clay represent? Go ahead, iron and clay. What's the symbol for iron? Fe, right? Yeah. And the clim uh, the symbol for clay is, or another name for clay is mud, right? Okay, go ahead. So, FEMA is female on yeah, the hominem. That's, right. that's right. Go ahead. You, this right? Is, yeah. So, the, the, in order to bring the sisters back to prominence, because what Elijah said, a nation can't do what? A nation can rise no higher than its women, right? Yeah. Man, you just so, made me, man, you just gave, man, can I say something right quick? Yeah. You know, man, you just made some. That just the shit you just said about the iron and shit. You know, I used to wonder why my grandma and them and all the women they always eating ice. And then I found out that they iron some of them women iron below. And then That's I true. and then I figured out, then I figured out that when we go when you go to the uh these doctors or whatever and you ask them to check their iron, they say, Oh, we don't check iron. And iron, uh, Dr. Savy said that most people or the women they they deficiency in iron. The immune and, and iron is for your immune system and it helps your red blood cells carry oxygen to your uh, different organs. So, do you think that all that plays a part in why we're not winning right now? Uh, or, or, or why we we about we, we about to start winning though? But uh, we, no, nah, this shit over with, dog. We done won like a motherfucker. We won, we won, yeah, we done won like a motherfucker. We showing we the did. people how we won. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. We, hey, fair and square, right? Fair and square. Right. So <laughs> once you expose the devil to the public, I just showed y'all who Emil was. Go ahead. Right. <clears throat> now, he, if you can look him up, if you go to YouTube, you can look up Matreya appears in Africa. Okay. And that's how you will find the video showing him walking around, and you can listen to the story of the bullshit he ran. Right there, right in Africa. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> you mean pull it up right now? You want to? Hell yeah. Let's get this pull nigga that back. shit up. Let's get this nigga right now, man. Oh, Fuck when, it, you, man. when I seen the drop bomb, I thought get you was pulling nigga, it up. Cuz. Let's get this nigga right now, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. We're gonna wait out. Wait, wait, we guys can't sleep on this. Hold up. Let's get this nigga, man. I want to hear what this nigga said. I want you to break this nigga down. Hold up. What'd you say the nigga name was, man? Matreya. M-A-T-R-E-Y-A. In Africa. 
Oh, here you go, right there. You here. Go. Yep, there Ooh, you go. Somebody already got that nigga, man. Hold up. Last stop on our journey is Kenya. Here too, there are said to be healing waters, but we have come to visit an unusual woman who is well known throughout the country and venerated by many people. Mary Sinaida Akatsa. She is a person full of faith and a powerful. Didn't I tell you it ain't gotta always be Mary? Many people. Mm -hmm. And his bitch ass ain't gonna say nothing. Somebody else summon this video earlier to Mary Akatsa says that Jesus himself gave her these colors as a sign in order that one could identify oneself as a child of God under one faith. Think that sound for me? Apparently, this yeah. simple woman travels through the country to the people, most of whom live in poverty. Wherever she arrives, she is immediately surrounded by crowds. Like many other third world countries, Kenya suffers from unemployment, crime, drug abuse, and prostitution. What? Mary Akatsa knows the people's sorrows and goes on undeterred, giving comfort and help. And they telling all about Mary. When Mary talking about she getting the juice from Matria. Because of her compassion, people lovingly and respectfully call her mommy. What? The fuck is going on the <clears throat> Oh, the man fuckery is deep, Elder. The man fuckery is deep. Man, I'm talking about, yeah, it, hey, it, it makes you just want A slum in Nairobi man. with prayers, songs, and preaching. Hey, we go to the restroom. room. Let's keep on letting it keep it rolling. Here on June the 11th, 1988, an extraordinary event took place, which many newspapers and the TV station CNN reported. The people believed that Jesus Christ had personally appeared before them. A journalist from the magazine Kenya Times was an eyewitness. His report starts a week before the event. On Saturday, June the 4th, 1988, a big bright star was sighted above the skies by worshippers. While we were filming, the unusually bright star could also be seen during the day. Remember, a pillar of fire by day. When the healing oh, session on June the 11th, 1988, the mysterious event took place, which was observed by hundreds of people. Many were left totally healed. Only a few photos exist. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga. <laughs> The tall figure of a barefooted, white-robed, and bearded man appeared from nowhere and stood in the middle of the crowd. When he appeared, people had no idea what was happening. Many of them fell down. Others began to cry and repent their sins and continued to do so even after Jesus had disappeared. And we had begun singing new healing songs again. Since that day, hordes of people have been coming to Kawangware, repenting their sins and being healed and saved. But it is not me who heals. It is the power of God that heals through me. It appeared to them the Son of Man had at last fulfilled his promise of coming back to Earth. The unknown person who didn't tell his name 
turn first to marry a cancer. He said, you are an important messenger of God. Keep on preaching, never retreat. Whoever places obstacles in your path will himself be halted. Mm. Then the man spoke in Swahili without an accent to the crowd. We are nearing the time for the reign of heaven. But before that, I shall come back and bring a bucket full of blessings for all of you. Before he disappeared as suddenly as he had come, he paced off a path in the direction of the church. Now look, you can stop that, Elder. That's Italy right there. Jesus said, <coughs> That's it. They got his ass when they said that he came, then he disappeared. Mm -hmm. That's uh, called by location. They hey, all, what, year was this? what year is this? That was 88. Hmm. This one, no, that's one. Okay, now. This about around the time Mothership knew who came. Yeah, Blen, look. Now, remember, this is in Lille. Now, let's pull up Caesar Borgia. Okay. Same motherfucker, different culture. Probably dyed his hair or some shit. Caesar what? Borgia, B O R G I A. Oh, you should have looked him up on, on. Okay, well, we got him there. You see the see the picture of him? Yeah, Borgia, right here. They, 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 yeah. There's a whole series out about these niggas that I watched called uh, uh, Rodriguez Borgia. They painted him as Jesus. One of them, that's in Lil. Mm hmm. Okay, now. Go to the uh, Google and pull up uh, Alexander the Great. All right. Alexander the Great was one of Enlil's sons. Okay. I should have let you pull it up on YouTube so you could have played it. I can go back. Look up birth of Alexander the Great. Watch how I'm going to tell you he was born. Right here, episode yeah. one. There was always a question if he was one of the child of the gods. Watch what they tell you. <coughs> motherfucker, greedy motherfuckers got to get their little commercials off, don't they? Man, they ain't going to even let me fucking skip that shit. Push play. Macedonia, 357 BC. The kingdom of Macedonia consolidated itself day by day as the greatest military power in the European continent. Under the leadership of Philip II of Macedon, an empire was gaining shape. The Macedonian king had just married the beautiful Olympias, a member of the royal family of Epirus. The young king Philip had established himself solidly in the always unstable Macedonian throne. A large part of his predecessors had been murdered during the endless power struggles. Despite his firm position on the throne, Philip did not have an heir, and so he spared no efforts to conceive a child together with his new wife. Olympias was a woman with very eccentric habits for the Macedonians at the time, and a worshipper of religions and exotic rituals, such as the cult of Dionysus. One night, Olympias had a dream in which Zeus threw one of his powerful lightning bolts against her belly. In another night, Philip caught his wife naked, curled, and exchanging caresses with the huge serpent. They say that, on that night, the queen received the visit of Zeus himself, who entered in her room disguised yeah. as a serpent. He seduced the queen and impregnated her. After accomplishing the mission of impregnating his wife, Philip decided that it was time to expand his territories and went to war. Months passed and Philip kept his war efforts alive. The king was sieging the city of Potidea. On that day, three messengers arrived from different origins with important messages to the king. 
coming from Thrace, the first messenger informed that the Macedonian general Parmenion had attained a decisive victory over the Illyrians. Coming from the city of Olympia, the second messenger reported that the king's horse had been the winner of the Olympic Games. The third messenger was from Pella, the capital of the Macedonian Empire, and brought the news that Olympias had given birth and the child was a male. With this three news, the king was overwhelmed with happiness and ordered the organization of a great festivity to celebrate the events. The child was born on a summer evening, and on the same day, far from there in Ephesus, the great temple dedicated to the goddess Artemis, considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, burned down in flames. No one knows for sure the reason of the fire, but they say that the temple burned down because the goddess Artemis had departed to Pella to watch the birth of a child who would dominate the known world. The name of this child was Alexander. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. But, man. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Now, I'm about to yeah. get ready to get out, man, because I'm, 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 I'm starting to get Yeah, you, well, you brought me back, so. But now you see Alexander. Remember, the Scrolls of Destiny, he had to get this cast scroll of government. Mm hmm mm hmm And I told you he was in Lil Sun. In Lil Sun, yeah. It make, it make, hey, everything you seeing is starting to make a lot of money, like a sucker sense, man. How, how they saying that this dude birthed so Elia came down and and hit his old hit his mama from the back impregnated her birthed this nigga so he could be part of the takeover of our land of of conquering the earth conquer it's part of conquering it they said they were gonna conquer and divide us up that's, that's, that's the thing that's his whole game yeah so now I didn't show you where Italy have been moving throughout the lands. How he came in as Etruscan Moors, as Ottomans, as Turks. He came in through the Iberian Peninsula to subjugate the nations of Europe mm -hmm. and exploit them. And once they got on to his bullshit, they called from help from Algonquins from over here. You remember that part, dude? Mm -hmm. And we the Algonquins who went over there to help them get kicked to kick the motherfuckers out. So now you knew now you know they think they come over here. Damn, that's crazy. It was the only place left they hadn't been. And since we was part of kicking their ass out of Europe, they might as well invade us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so they use every stratagem of war, right? That's what it's saying in the Quran, don't it? Mm -hmm. We will wait for them, we will set for them in every stratagem of war. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the last thing that we're gonna top it off with is <clears throat> it's a book called Strategies of the Crescent Moon. It's an art of war, Islamic art of war. <clears throat> and who is the god of the Crescent Moon? Uh, Isis, uh, Dean. Enlil. Yeah, yeah Enlil. Ninersin, actually, his son. It's Islamic. What was the name of that book? It's called Strategies of the Crescent Moon. Okay, I got to go back. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, hold on. I'll make a push. Not stages, strategies. I probably had to pull it out of my foot locker and send you a picture of it. Hold on, let I think I got it. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Hold up. Strategy of a crescent moon. That's what you see, right? Strategy of a crescent moon? Yeah. Uh, uh, 
that's it right there. Tactic, tactile, tactics. Tactics that was great. Tactics of the crest moon. That's the right okay, one. Right. <clears throat> yeah, right here. So this go over the strategies that's been being used by Islamic extremists. Well, I gotta get this shit. This shit. It's part of the. It's part of war studies for me. So I had to read it whether I wanted to or not. Man, I gotta fucking read this book, man. Yeah. So what? Hey, what do they talk about? Like, can you give us like like a synopsis of what they? Like yeah, it just tell you the basic strategies that they use, why they do suicide bombers, different stuff they tell in there. Oh, like the whole yeah. ideology of war from an Islamic perspective that the writers of the book observe being used during warfare. What? You just had to read this. It's, it's worth to read, though. It's, it's nice work. Oh, yeah, I got to get this joint. I got to get this joint. You know, I'm into like I'm into like the war games and shit. That's my thing. I'm I'm like the general on that shit. Like now, I love. now remember, I told y'all all of the women's rituals of the earth rites is in the Sufi orders. The men do them, but they can't empower them. <coughs> they can't make them sustainably applicable. Took so <clears throat> we hope we was able to give them what they wanted tonight, uh, Elder. That was a pretty man. You good, cra- uh, hey, you, man, you 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 every night, man. You bringing something new for us. We get moju. We learn something new every day. As long as we learn one thing new every day, we did something. But you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, Each one teach one. Yes, sir. We on the land. We putting in work. The ancestors working with us, man. Mm-hmm. And uh, we about to get ready to get up out of here, though, man. Uh, Cause I'm about, man, I'm overdue, man, for the time. Uh, but we're gonna be back uh, again, bro. Uh, I got tapes coming out this week that's gonna be headbangers. I just showed y'all a little bit, look like a little picture from some of the stuff I'm putting out. Uh, I'm gonna be showing the ancient technology tape and what the different crafts that we were using. And uh, we're probably going to be back on with Rod Haynes uh, sometime this week, maybe even tomorrow, because uh, we putting in work. We're coming out to these guys that's coming out to us, man. Some guys out here, we ain't worried about them, you know what I'm saying, because they don't really got nothing. Oh, oh, I almost forgot the most important thing. What? Where did he go? Where did who go? Matreya, Enlil. Yeah, where did he go? He was in Kenya. Yeah, he was in Kenya, but where did he go after that? Back to Listen, the No, 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 no. He stopped in Kenya. Whose land is Kenya? Let me think. Kenya, Kenya. That's the land of the jackal. You just got who, cut out. Who do, you, who do you know over here that was from Kenya that rose to prominence? Uh, Test two baby ass. Uh, Obama. Obama. Mm-hmm. Matreya went to Africa to Kenya, Obama's homeland in 88. What was Obama doing in 88? Exactly. <laughs> Say again. What was Obama doing in 88? Where was he? <clears throat> he was in college. He should have been. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> He said he either been in college or working at a law firm. Yeah, working at a law firm, Goldman Sachs. Mm, who is Goldman Sachs? I know they black Jews, the owner. Goldman family, right? That's mm-hmm. the blood shield for the Goldman family is the Saxons. Okay. The Saxons trace back to Queen Elizabeth. Mm. Right? So you got the Anglos and the Saxons merging together to form Anglo-Saxons. These is clans. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Now I'm saying right. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> Bible put out a uh, uh, a class he did over the telephone uh, a couple of weeks ago, mm-hmm. and he was talking about Ukraine. He was like, "Remember, they trying to unite five different families. Mm-hmm. Right? That's what the Ukraine things is about." 
Well, in little kids don't operate on five families. Mm -hmm. They operate on 13 families, but mm -hmm. 12 is the ones that cover up for the first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So <clears throat> who is the five families? We talking La Cosa Nostra now. Mafiosos, Godfather status. Mm -hmm. We in the, now we in New York, upstate New York. Mm -hmm. We talking Gotti and them boys. Gotti was he was he was a stand up dude. Mm -hmm. And he was took down by who? Sammy the what? Bull. And who was the symbol of the bull? <laughs> Sin, <right? laughs> Wasn't mm -hmm. seeing the bull was his symbol? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And it was because it was a crescent, right? Mm -hmm. So Sammy the Bull gored John Gotti. Right? Mm -hmm. So we talk in the five families. Uh, um, La Costa Nostra reflect five families of hip hop. Mm -hmm. And it's five the more hip -hop, The hip hop tell us the story in um, spoken word. Mm -hmm. They think it's a poem. We just passing the message. Mm -hmm. Go back to 91. Ice Cube said we just reporters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's before we even knew who Tupac was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And um, when you listen to Grandmaster Flash, um, uh, they are, all they doing is social commentary. Who they talking to? Because we ain't we know the we know the so-called white man ain't listening. Mm -hmm. So who listening? We are. We listening. And what did Gil Scott say? He said, "This a ghetto code. You got to learn the ghetto code." Da -da 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 Remember? Yeah. <laughs> but the revolution won't be televised. But that shit show gonna play out on social media. The revolution is a full circle. That's a three hundred and sixty degrees of revolution. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you're gonna overthrow thirty two degrees of knowledge. You only need 33. That's right. But if you bring 360, you now just overthrow it. You crush that shit asunder. That's right. That's right. right. So we didn't came with these motherfuckers with the five and the six off the left and the right on the straight bump and the motherfucking left bump high style to a 33, 32 degree Scottish right to an honorary 33 degree Scottish right that overrides all that bullshit with the blood and the rights. And then it'd be a public notice to restore the chiefs on the land. See, they ain't telling you all this shit. Rashad was talking about being at war with Zeus. He was talking about being at war with Enlil as one of the motherfuckers that came down here to clean this shit up. And that's why they had to get rid of his ass, right? And they, slid, and they sent some slimy bitch up under him. Right? That's how they always get us. Mm -hmm. It worked every time. That shit worked so good on us that we don't, we just don't want to keep our dick where we need it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that shit don't work on me. Because if my people ain't free, I jack off first. Mm -hmm. That just is what it is. Yeah, Rashard, one of the inky, inky kids, man. And they know, see, it's, it's, it, they don't come out to niggas like that for no reason. They, it, it's had it's something significant that supposed to happen. But pe people that they, like people like us, when they snatch you up, uh, when they snatch uh, this dude up the streets, uh, it probably was something that he had finna to do that was going to, alchemically, that was going to change. So let me tell you what process. I was. Go ahead. I found the priestess that they sacrificed in Haiti with the black pig in the Haitian Revolution, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't never know Rashad, Rashad had told his people that he was Tucson. So I never would have looked at him like that. But an elder sister sent me a series of receipts to show me who he was. Mm -hmm. So he would actually be Tucson that would mean that we would be looking for a guy that they would be called Bookman, mm -hmm. right? And he would have tattoo, not tattoos, but a, a birthmark that looked like writing on him. Mm -hmm. Go back to the movie uh, Scorpion King. Remember the lady had the writing all over her body? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was telling you about the Bookman. 
So in order for Haiti to close, they they conjure, they war conjure, and return all this shit back to normal because that's the last conjure open. Mm-hmm. Remember, I, if you would have been, I don't know if you've been watching me this long, but a long time ago, I told the people, Haiti closed all of their obey ceremonies. Mm-hmm. And they did it, and they gave public notice while they was doing it. I actually posted it on my Facebook um, if you want to look for it on my Facebook, look for uh, Haitian Obey. Mm-hmm. And they closed all their conjures out, so they may have to be instrumental in um, helping Haiti. Because if we don't, I didn't realize that we needed all three of them. I thought we only needed the sister to close the conjure. But you need all of the three that was using the, the, the two bar cane in order to conjure up the spirits of protection. Mm-hmm. Now, remember, in the Haitian Revolution, man, they didn't just have physical people fighting for them. Go ahead. A lot of people not aware that they had spirits that would rise up from the ground and take the dirt from around the area and become warriors in the fight. Yep, I heard shit like that. I heard that story. Right, because that's why when the French gave the report back, they said they was fighting both men and ghosts. Uh-huh. And they didn't, there was no way they could win that war. Because some of the people they was fighting was not sentient beings. Yeah. Right? So they thinking they killing the motherfucking all the time. That motherfucker killing the shit out their ass. Yeah. Yeah. The, the undead. See, this is what they be worried about. The zombie apocalypse is our awakening. Mm-hmm. They not trying to stop it. They trying to activate it. Wake your ass up. Right? <clears throat> so this is what the problem with Rashad Jamal is. Now, they got an energy <coughs> block. Mm-hmm. They got an energy block because one of Big Mama's favorites was in their camp, and she was mistreated, or she was somebody lied on the girl. Um, that was uh, Empress Ellie. Right? Mm-hmm. So Empress Ellie, um, she can do meditations to open all of the energy up, but that's up to her and the kids because the kids is the ones who sent her to get the help and she was the only one they trusted. And they wanted to get the help for Rashad. Mm-hmm. That means somebody was doing something right. Mm-hmm. And so she was the one leading the meditation. She was the one that they wanted to uh, um, utilize as they spokesperson, all of the youth, the ones, the young ones. Mm -hmm. I ain't talking about the adults. I don't give a fuck about an adult. But the kids want her to speak for them. So it's up to Rashad and and to draw his camp together and make them clean up that situation because Ellie's solid, 100. Mm Mm-hmm. She 100, she 100 solid gold. So it is what it is. That's a, that's something that they got to clean up to get him on the streets faster. Shit, crazy. Man. Yeah, that's that's stagnant energy that they got to move. Ellie can move it because she know what she's doing. She a born master. They just got to get them tacky motherfuckers out the mix. And go on and let her and them kids go on and work their fucking magic. And everything would be all right. Mm-hmm. And with that, we uh thanks, Elder, uh, for having me in here. For telling yeah, me yeah, yeah, we did. Exactly we did. where these goddamn devils at, where they came from and how they got here, when they came, exact locations and names and pictures. Uh, you got them, nigga, man. You got them, nigga, with that blue eye, that in little blue eye shit. That was like, that was some hot shit right there, man. Like, with all the little Jews up in this joint, man, I'm going to have to go back and watch it again and write some of this stuff down to tie into some more shit that I got going on. Oh, yeah. Once you start putting it together, you're going to turn oh, yeah. it into pop and start you writing me, books. You gave me a lot of <laughs> shit, man. So I, I got so much shit now, man. It just, <coughs> it just, oh, if, I gotta give my time, my brain time to just sit here and just file all this shit, all these different Jews, and and put them into place and line it up. I see a whole timeline now. Now that you like you 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 filling in a lot of blanks in the timeline that I had, a little shit that 
little trinkets, little jewels that I was that I might have been looked over. So now I'm going back. I'm gonna add them little pieces in, man. Like I'm especially the inky, the end little story. And then I'm gonna go investigate this dude, man. Again, I'm gonna go find this dude, this dude that you talking about that came back. So that, that that's very interesting. That because these beans, Bible said that these beans are real beans. That these beans are physical beans, and that they are men. That they come down. They even mentioned up in the Bible that these beans come down. They eat. And so this dude, uh, Inlia, coming down, and he, he what's the, the nerve of this dude to come down and come? Well, he had to. You know what I'm saying? Look, they can't pass the crown. They can't pass the crown unless they show themselves. Hmm. But he only got to show himself when it's time for him to go. Hmm. All right? So do the math from 88 to now. Right? What's that? 35 years? Mm hmm. 88 to now is what? Yeah, 35 years. Yeah. Yeah. So um, in 35 years that it took me to do this work, and they say it takes how long for a man to become a master mason? You remember? No. 35 to 45 years. The only way to be a master mason is is that you got to be a master over all of the Masons. How do you get that position? What you mean, like a worship of master position or something? Or like a grand potentate? Well, there's only one person over the Masonic Lodge. You know who that would be? The nah. ultimate person at the end game? The devil? <laughs> that would be Hiram Abiff. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. Right? Well, the Messiah type for the Masonic Lodge. Why is that even important? Why is it important? Because when when they when Hiram is raised, he also raises the veil on the shrine of the Black Madonna. Okay. In other words, when the Masons Masonic Lodge finds Hiram, then they pass the torch over to the sisters as Eastern stars. Mm -hmm. And when they pass the torch to the sisters, they have to in turn pass it who Hiram say is the uh, Black Madonna. In mm -hmm. other words, the highest ranked matriarch on the land gets the rulership torch because Hiram identified Mother Khadijah Farrakhan as the highest ranking matriarch on the land. So they got to give her the, they had to take the motherfucking uh, flame from the Statue of Liberty, which is a man in drag, and give it to a real woman. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. Hiram is the great work, the great arcana, the, the man that builds himself from peasant to royalty, basically, from a beast of the field as Nebuchadnezzar into waking up in the field with the rest of the beasts, realizing that, hold up, I ain't like the rest of these motherfuckers. What the fuck going on here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Once he realized, he realized that somebody in my mama house. Mm hmm when he realized somebody in his mama house, them motherfuckers got to go. I don't give a fuck if it is my uncle. Right? Yeah. And the uncle is a significant term in masonry. Because they say it was our uncle that brought us over here and sold us in the bondage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How in the fuck is that possible? Because Enlil is Enki's brother. Yeah. Enlil is Ainana's brother, Isis's brother. Mm -hmm. He the one that sold us in the bondage over here. That's right. So that's why they say it was your uncle. And I'd be goddamn if I ain't a monkey's uncle. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm a monkey uncle, that make me a gorilla. Yeah, right. Right? So yeah, once we family. get to point out who they is, where they at, with this much detail, they can't run and hide no longer. Man, now, Enlil off, off Earth. That, so that, that, nigga, Earth. that nigga that was old with that light-skinned nigga that looked that looked just like Enlil, dressed like him and everything. <laughs> hey, that light-skinned nigga was a like was a uh, one of his uh, manifestations coming down to Earth. Well, that was an actor used to tell you who was behind it. It's up to you to figure it out. They don't have to explain it to you. Okay. Go ahead. But when you get the description of the location, 
that John Wick get on how to get to the high table, the one who sits above the high table. Right? Mm-hmm. Who will sit above a high table? King. Royalty, right? Mm-hmm. The king of kings. Mm-hmm. So now they showing you in the movie. So when I come back and I show you him in in Kenya, tell you he tied to the whole, whole Obama fiasco, right? And show you the common denominators, and then you can line the rest of it up for yourself to see exactly the path the devil took to conquer the world and how we was gonna bust him upside his head. Mm-hmm. As Baba say, we are gonna leave this with the cover of "We See You Too, Black Devil." Yeah, we see your ass too. Yeah, go and pull the picture up so they can know that we see them black devils. I don't care the if they come as a high the yellow green, nigga. Green froze again. Okay, well we ain't gonna worry about it. We get them next time. Oh yeah, we gonna get them again. Don't worry about nothing. Don't run. Tell them don't run now from the brother Rod. Don't run from Rod now. No, they can run now, but they know where to hide. <laughs> right they can run all they want to. They can't hide nowhere. <laughs> they ass exposed. We got, we won't, hey, ain't no way you can, hey, man. It's, they say <laughs> that the brother Rod and them is on them niggas, man. Get them niggas, bro. So yeah. I explained it. We got it down. Let, let the people sort it out from here. I'm, yeah, I'm going to take a break. Yeah, man, I'm gonna get out, get out, man. I'm, 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 uh, my, my body is gonna take a break right now. Yeah. All uh, right. So, uh, hey, man, peace and love to everybody coming in. We want to thank the brother Rod Haynes for coming out with it and kicking us with it tonight. We broke it <coughs> down. The Black Devils, man, this shit is hot. It's the hottest shit on the streets right now. You want to share? It. You want to share it on your Facebook? Share it on your Instagram? Let everybody know to come check us out. We better get ready to get up out of here. Islam Hotel. Shalom. Lekum. Assalamu alaikum. Peace and love. Ashug. Divine love throughout the balanced universe to all. 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 Wadu. Wadu.